Hi guys, it's Mia from Sybil's Tarot and today I'm going to speak about tarot court cards. So I know this is a difficult topic for many readers and uh, it took me a while to come to terms with it but I kind of find it easy now. However, I have had, well, I was having a shower and I was inspired uh, with an explanation that uh, I believe could help people understand better how these cards work. So I'm going to uh, make it very simple and probably if you people like it, I will extend more on this topic of court cards, but well, I have taken the court cards of pentacles for this. I have taken pentacles because why not? No, there's no reason, okay? But uh, well, this is steampunk tarot. And uh, these are the court guys of the suit of pentacles. So, in order to understand how these cards work, imagine that the suit of pentacles is a realm, okay? So this is, these are the court cards and uh, yeah, like pentacles is the castle, is the, the rain, okay? They, they are raining over pentacles. Okay, so uh, pentacles are the earth, okay, are the material things, are related to finances, are related to uh, the things we can touch and feel tangibly, I mean, uh, the earth is like the soil over on which we grow our stuff, on which we build our stuff, okay? So this is what is related to the, the suit of pentacles. Now, the king in here, okay? He's the, the guy that rules over this reign of pentacles, okay? So he rules, he makes decisions, he has to think for all the people in this realm of, of, of the earth, of pentacles, okay? So he is the element of air, okay? He thinks for everyone, he makes the decisions, he is the one who is in control of the earth. So when the king of pentacles comes in a reading, Okay, it usually depicts, when depicting a, pe a person, it depicts a person who has their shit together, uh, someone who is good with money, someone who is good at finances, uh, a boss, a business owner, a bank director, a provider, someone who is reliable, someone who you, you can count on, someone who is responsible, uh, who deals with uh, shit effectively and swiftly so this is the kind of person that the king of pentacle depicts so now what do you have to think when this comes because court cards are not always people okay and although they can represent a number of things uh what the the way in which i find it easier to explain is that court cards are mainly three things people attitudes or behaviors or stages of a situation, okay? So, thing is, the king of pentacles could be like the full management of a situation, okay? So, this is in a past position and you say, okay, in the past you were able to manage this situation, you were effectively in control of your finances, you were effectively in control of a situation that was quite stable because it belongs to the realm of earth and the element, the suit of pentacles, okay? And so you can say that in the present it says, okay, you have gone on to a situation where you are in charge, when you are able to do your thing effectively when you are in control, you are reigning over the situation, you have it under control, in this case pentacles, okay, you are managing something that is going to last over time. In a future situation, it will tell you in the future you will get to do everything we have mentioned. If this is an attitude, it can be telling you you need to be 
more consistent with what you're doing. You need to make decisions because this is air. This is the air of pentacles. So you need to make decisions uh, over your finances, over your material, over your whatever pentacles is representing in the, in the reading. Okay. So you need to make these decisions. You need to be the air in there. It's like the kind of attitude that it is showing. So next thing. We have the page, okay? A uh, page can be called a page, a knife, a ballet, and I really like the term ballet, okay? Because if you know something about history, a valet de chambre or like a, an assistant, uh, yeah, the valet de chambre was the a person that was very close to the king, was in the service of the king, so they knew everything that the king thought they were like the personal assistant of the king they had no real power but they were people with a, like they didn't have official power but they were powerful because they were like the close friend of the king so in matters of uh, the court they didn't uh, have a say but they knew a lot uh, Probably like this knowledge was, how can I explain this? Like the knowledge that they had wasn't complete, uh, what I want to mean. Like they knew the details of the life of the king, but probably they weren't aware of the reasons behind every reasoning. However, they got to me to know that the king quite good so the pages are the earth of the um, in the court cards in the elementary correspondences okay the pages are the earth so what happens like this is earth in service of the suit the realm okay so uh, what happened the king usually went and cried on the shoulder cried on the shoulder of the ballet and the ballet was a key figure for sustaining the king, even though they didn't have power, okay? So for this, the ballet or the pages represent the earth, okay? In this case, the earth of the earth. So it is like when where things start being, where there is like a... How to say it? Like... Mm, the beginning stages. Uh, I like to think about pages as I think about aces. Okay, so they hold a very similar potential, but this potential is still very raw, okay, very basic, but they can be in service of something higher. Okay, so for instance, <clears throat> when it is an attitude, a uh, page of pentacles can be telling you that the, you need to start. Uh, putting a structure uh, to what you're doing, you need to start planning, you need to begin sticking to a system, okay? So this is sort of like the kind of things that it represents. When it is a situation or stages of the situation, it tells you that the situation has potential, but it's still very immature, very raw, and you need to keep on working on it um, until it reaches its completion. Now, we have the knight, okay? The knight is usually the one who does the work the king doesn't want to do. So the king commands, okay, and the knight fights for the king. So what is this? It is action. It is the fire of the suit. So the knight is the fire of the earth. It is telling you, get your shit done. You need to start taking action towards this. When it's speaking about a situation, you need to move, okay? Like mm, doing nothing is not an option. You need to uh, do something. You need to start working towards the achievement of your goal. This is like the meaning of the, the night, sorry. Now, what is the queen? What does the queen do in regards with the king? Okay, so... The king has a power, but the queen is supposed to bear children for the king. It's supposed to continue the lineage. Okay, so the king, the queen is 
the water and she's the one who nurtures the dynasty of the king okay so what does this tell you you need to work on what you are doing in a more passive way in a more emotional way you need to nurture a situation okay you perhaps need to do your thing but it cannot be as obvious as the king okay the king is the one with the power the queen has a power like in the shadow like behind the king okay so this is a kind of power that is more passive is more how can I explain it like something that you need to do in the long term uh, with a certain continuity you need to be present in that moment you need to keep your cool be emotionally invested in the situation okay and this would be what the king what the, what, oh, sorry what the queen does okay it is as well a powerful figure but in a more watery mm, sense so I hope I have not rambled a lot and uh, I have mm, helped you understand better with this but anyway I like court cards a lot and uh, I would like to know what do you think about this example, what questions do you have about court cards and well whatever you have to comment in general. So thank you very much for watching as always and uh, have a lovely rest of your day. Bye! -bye.